Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Levels Computer Science. So, in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can convert a positive Danary number into a binary one, right? So, uh, if you haven't know that what is a binary or a decimal number, then you must need to watch my video of number systems, okay? So, let me um, give you a recap of that. Uh, before going into the example to solve it, uh, let me tell you what is a danary or a decimal number, right? And what is a binary number? Well, the difference between them is that a binary or a, sorry, a danary or a decimal number is one that is being represented with these 10 digits from 0 till 9. All the numbers that are being represented from 0 till 9, then they are danary. For example, we have 52, we have 38, we have 104, all these numbers. These are basically represented from 0 till 9, right? So they are danary or we can say them decimal numbers. And for binary, we have all the numbers that are being represented with only these two digits, either 0 or 1. It can be 100, 0, 0. it can be 0, 1, 1, or any number, right? In the form of 0 and 1 is known as a binary number. Okay, now moving towards the example here, I am going to give you a past paper example. Why? Because doing past paper examples is a best opportunity or is a best practice for a student to know how the uh, how your uh, questions or your topics can come into your exam. You can better understand that, right? So moving towards my first past paper question. Okay, so here's the example of October, November 2018 past paper. Okay, let me explain the example first. Okay, the word bus has the danary values. Bus 668583 convert the danary values into 8 bit binary okay we have an ascii code for example over here bus bus and each alphabet is converted into a decimal number right into two digit decimal numbers that is b is converted into 66 u stands for 85 and s is for 83 so what we need to do convert the danary values into 8-bit binary we need to convert these values into binary uh, data right so what we need to find we need to find the binary value for this 66 85 and 83 okay now let me tell you how we can convert these decimal or danary data into a binary one okay so here i am going to solve this question right so what I'm going to do over here is convert this 66 into binary one, right? So in order to convert it, what I have to do, I have to take LCM of this number by two, right? So this is my step number one. I need to take LCM of this decimal number by two. So two, three is a six, two, three is a six. And what is the remainder over here? Zeros, right? So the important uh, thing is that I need to write remainder or at each step. Okay, now two ones are two. One is the carry over here. Then two six is twelve, and similarly thirty three is not completely divisible. So I have a remainder one over here, right? Then I have two eight is sixteen. It is completely divisible. I have a remainder zero over here. Then two two is a four. Two four is a eight. Zero remainder. Two two is a four. Zero remainder. Two one is a two. And zero remainder. Right. So here I have the binary data or binary number. How I am going to write it from here in the reverse order. Right. So the given binary value can be starting from one that is at the very below. OK, at the end, I'm taking this one and then writing out all the remainders in a reverse order like one, zero, 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 then one and then zero okay now writing this number into this 
register okay i have i am going to write from lsb this is my least significant bit and then moving towards the left okay writing it as 0 1 0 0 0 and then 1 okay now what i need to write over here i need to write a 0 over here because 0 makes no difference right so how uh, in any case if you have uh, bits left uh, so you are just going to write 0 because it will not change the binary number okay now similarly I'm going to convert this 85 okay how is it so again I am going to take an X LCM by 2 right so the next number is 85 okay take an X LCM of that 2 4 is a 8, 2 is a 4, 1, then 2, 1 is a 2. Okay, so sorry, it's 2, 20 is a 40. Then I have, I'm really sorry for that. It's 2, 2 is a 4, 2, 1 is a 2. Then it is 0, then I have 2, 1 is a 2. This is 0, again 1 is remainder, then 2, 5 is a 10. 0 is remainder, then 2, 2 is a 4, 1 is remainder, then 2, 1 is a 2, and 0 is remainder, right? So, writing the binary number, what is that? Starting from this 1, I have 1, and then going up, right? 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, right? Writing it in the boxes, 1, 0. Keep in mind that you will be writing from this LSP, right? 1, 0, 1, 0. 1 0 1 okay then this bit is left so i'm going to write a 0 over here because again it makes no difference okay now just going to do it with 3 83 so i'm just going to remove this all okay taking an lcm by 2 okay 2 4 is a 8 2 1 is a 2 1 remainder okay 2 2 is a 4 2 here is 0 1 then 2 10 is a 20 sorry 0 over here 2 5 is a 10 0 over here 2 2 is a 4 1 over here 2 1 is a 2 0 over here right so let me write the binary data over here how it is that sorry this is 1 and then going up 0 1 0 0 1 1 right okay writing it out as 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 right then writing a 0 over here so this is how we have converted these three decimal or binary values into binary data right so this is how you can solve this problem okay now to make this topic more clear, I am going to share another pass paper problem with you, okay? So, just coming to you with another problem. Okay, so here comes another question of pass paper that is of May June 2018 paper. Okay, the question is, a stopwatch uses six digits to display hours, minutes and seconds, right? The stopwatch is stopped at. This is the stopwatch. Watch is a, it's a digital watch, right? And each two digits are basically uh, representing hours. These two for minutes and these two for seconds. So collectively we have six digits, right? Now what we need to do: an eight-bit register is used to store each pair of digits, right? We have how many registers we will be going to have if each pair is having 8-bit registers. We are going to have three 8-bit registers, right? One for R, one for minute, and one for second. Now, write 8-bit binary numbers for. We need to calculate the binary number for each of these two digits. 0, 2, 3, 1, 8, 5, 8. So, this is basically the decimal or the binary number and here in these registers we need to put the binary conversion of that right so okay so here is the solution for this problem 
Okay, now let me take this R first, that is 0 to convert it into a binary number to 1 to 2, taking the LCM by 2. And what is the remainder? 0. So the binary conversion is 1, 0. Right. Now this 1, 0 can be written in the register as 0, 1. And all the remaining values will be 0 in the register. Right. Now moving towards minutes. Minutes, I have 31. Taking LCM of 31. To 1, the 2. To 5, the 10. That is 1 remainder. To 7, the 14. 1 remainder. To 3, the 6. 1 remainder. To 1, the 2. 1 remainder. Right. So these are what? 5 ones. Okay, now writing it over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the remaining are 0. Now, what is second? I have 58 for second. Let me convert this 58 into binary, taking LCM by 2. Okay, to 2 is a 4, 1 carry, to 9 is a 18, remainder is 0, then to 1 is a 2, to 4 is a 8, 1 is remainder, then 2, 7 is a 14, 0 is remainder, 2, 3 is a 6, 1 is remainder, 2, 2 is a 4, 2, 2 is a, sorry, 2, 1 is a 2, 1 is remainder, right? So the binary conversion is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, so writing the answer over here, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, and the remaining two are zeros right so this is how we have solved this problem thank you so much for watching this video in the next video i'm going to tell you that how what is a byte and how you are going to use a byte in order to measure a memory right thank you so much for watching stay connected and take care